Hey, it's Dr. Kyle. I want to talk about the strengthening component to that low back pain and what we're going to be focusing on a lot of core stability, uh, making sure that the core is stable enough and strong enough so it can support the low back pain. Because all too often when we have low back pain, we have a weakness in the core. And when we're talking about the core, we're talking about the deep pelvic muscles on the inside. So the set of exercises that we're going to be going through are going to be addressing those weaknesses within that core, weaknesses in your glutes to help stabilize and lock in that low back pain, which is gonna help to keep it strong, which is gonna help to keep it from continuing to have low back pain in the future. So this is what we would call the Cobra, and this is gonna be for real and really acute in that low back, especially if we're having like shooting pain down the leg, things like that. You're gonna wanna start in the flat position here. And so when you come up, we're just gonna come up to our elbows. The biggest and most important thing with this exercise is to relax your glutes and your hamstrings. So if my glutes are tight, my low back did not move. If I let that go and I relax and I take 10 deep breaths in and all the way out, and as I'm letting that air out, what I want to think about is pushing my belly button to the table. So then I'll take another deep breath in and all the way out, pushing that belly button in, focusing on relaxing those glutes. It's ultimately going to help to reinforce the curve in the low back, pushing the discs off and the nerve roots, which is going to help to get rid of that shooting pain down the leg. Once we finish that one up, we're going to roll over and we're going to start with a hip flexor stretch. So we'll get to the edge, bringing that foot backwards. Okay. And we're going to grab that other knee and we're just going to pull it on up. Okay. With these stretches, all of them, I want you to hold for at least 30 seconds. That's going to allow, if the muscles are chronically tight, it's going to allow them to break down and the more tension we have pulling this way, the better. Now, if it hurts too much to put the toe under, just keep it like this. Okay. Then you're gonna notice I have way more movement in my hip where I can pull that leg up because my, my hip's not pinned down by this foot being backwards. Okay, so we're gonna pull that, we're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna slide off over on the table a little bit, keeping this leg straight. We're gonna bring this one up, okay? The goal for this is to keep that knee in alignment with my nose, okay? I don't want it over here on my, on my armpit. I wanna keep it up across the middle of my body. Then what I'm gonna do with that free hand, okay? Same knee that comes up, same hand that holds. We're gonna grab that ankle and we're gonna add some rotation. So we're gonna give that a pull and what that's gonna do is it's gonna stretch that piriformis muscle, which is where that sciatic nerve runs hand in hand with, okay? Once again, we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. One, one little tip I find is if you take a nice deep breath in and when you let it all the way out, just give that a little bit more of a pull and attention and you're really gonna feel that grabbing on the outside of that hip. Okay. Now the last version that we're dealing with with acute low back stuff, taking a band, you could take a towel, okay, anything to hook onto that foot. We're gonna lock that knee in place. You're gonna notice that we're hooked around my toes up here. And what I wanna do from here is while keeping this leg straight, I wanna to work to bring that up, okay? Higher up we can get with that, the better. We're really gonna feel it pulling on the backside of those hamstrings and that knee. Really fight to keep that knee straight. We don't want it to be here, because then there's no tension on my hamstrings, which then we're not stretching what we need to stretch. So if that's the case, we're gonna lower it back down to where I can lock that knee again, and we're gonna pull that on up, okay? Keeping that tension on it, holding this for 30 seconds. Then once again, for all three of these, four of these exercises, we're gonna switch to the other side. So the videos and the exercises are baseline exercises for you to do. There's advancements to those, there's ways to make them easier, but the only way that we're gonna know that is if you ask specifically for variations and, and things to make it easier for you or harder for you. And so please reach out to the office, give us a call, email us, we'd love to answer the questions so that way the exercises work for you. And then we look forward to you being in the office soon.